Hello and welcome to Arts 232 2D Animation. I am your instructor, Thor Antique. Pretty much everybody calls me Thor. And your contact information is right there as well as in your syllabus. <clears throat> oh. The Arts 232 class is a basic 2D animation class. We're going to be using After Effects to do our animations. Um, so that is what is most commonly used in the industry for um, 2D animation, compositing, and motion graphics. Uh, it's not the only thing out there, but it's a very common one, and if you go on to um, work in a studio on 2D animation, um, even if they don't have After Effects, they you will understand the same concepts. So. Um, the do's and don'ts of the industry. Uh, you'll get some hands-on experience with uh, the software and input devices and learn some basics about film and 2D animation. Uh, this is a design class with design aesthetics such as uh, concerns about uh, balance, unity, harmony, um, rhythm, line, shape, and all that good stuff. Uh, this is a class that builds with each module, meaning it's linear. Um, you have to go unit one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> all the way to the end. So, and it's a lot of fun. We're going to be um, doing most of our interaction on desire to learn. So, uh, being an online class, we will be using D2L regularly. Uh, presumably, you have some degree of competency with D2L. Uh, you've made it this far, so that's a good sign. On Desire to Learn, there will be class announcements or news, um, just general announcements for the whole class basically. All the content, which is um, any handouts, assignment instructions, any files you have to download, uh, or any videos, anything like that. Um, discussion forums, where you will be discussing with your other classmates uh, about your work, uh, and you will also be posting an intro to yourself. Uh, there's a calendar of deadlines and what's going on throughout the semester and your grades are on D2L. Um, so I'm going to take a quick look at D2L. Uh, this is our front page of our um, class, 2D animation. Here are those sections I mentioned, content, grades, assessments. Um, so you'll find assignments, discussions, quizzes under that. And some of these repeat, so if you go to communication, you'll find uh, another uh, discussions. It's the same thing. Don't let it throw you. The chat room is available. Um, if I turn it on, usually I only turn it on for my office hour. So um, that will be where you go for my online office hour. Uh, if you need more help individually, you can contact me and work out a time to get together. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the calendar here. That's where you'll find the latest um, schedule of events, uh, deadlines, and so on. Um, that's the link to the syllabus right there. Uh, your first bit of homework is to read this. Um, you'll find all the basic policies of the um, class on here, as well as <coughs> um, rules for the computer labs. Uh, the computer labs, I am not 100% certain, but I did hear, because nobody's 100% certain of anything right now, but I did hear that you can sign a health waiver and um, wear a mask and you can come in and use the computer labs. So um, if anyone can verify that, uh, inquiring minds want to know. And the schedule, there's a schedule in the syllabus. This is just a, uh, a rough schedule. It's going to give you the basic flow of the course, but it's not definite. So it's going to be um, subject to change. Uh, any changes will be reflected in the D2L calendar here. I will not change the syllabus. I will only change here. So this is probably going to be your go-to for when the stuff is due or what you're supposed to be doing on any given week, go to the calendar. Uh, discussion forums, 
your second bit of homework is to um, go to the discussion forum and I will make this visible and post the introduction of yourself to the class um, and please read the instructions there are some specific things that I need in your post so please make sure you read that and um, don't lose points for not following the instructions <coughs> um, let's go back to the presentation and your expectations are going to be to um, learn how to operate After Effects not Maya, sorry about that, that's wrong uh, at a beginning level understand basic file management um, spend time on Arts 232 uh, you're going to be responsible for the syllabus and all text lecture instructions video and audio um, so pretty much uh, everything that I put up for you to read or watch um, you're responsible to know it. It's either going to be something you need to know to finish the assignment or something that's going to appear in a test or both. Late assignments are going to be minus 25 percent for each day past the due date. So um, if they're due on Sunday then on Monday they will be minus 25 percent. On Tuesday they'll be minus 50 percent. On Wednesday they'll be minus 75 percent and on Thursday you can't get any credit for it. Contact the instructor if you have any issues such as illness, difficulty with deadlines, or anything like that. Um, please contact me early. Don't wait for it to become a crisis. Just let me know. Communicating, communicating is always the best way to handle that. Um, you do need to have some degree of digital or computer literacy to f do this class. Um, again, you've already found your way this far, so that's a good sign. Uh, you need to know how to use D2L, transfer files, and so on. You need to be able to manage your own data. Deadlines will not change for data loss or data mismanagement. Uh, you should be backing up your data in the event of a computer crash. Um, you should have a backup that is hopefully not several weeks old. That's just generally a good practice. Uh, your attendance, you um, please log on to D2L at least once a week throughout the semester. That's going to be your attendance. Um, if you do not log on to D2L uh, for an entire week, you will be marked absent for the week. And that's a bare minimum. Uh, it probably should be more than that, but um, at the bare minimum once a week and turn in your assignments on time and complete the written reflections on time to receive the participation points. Read every required topic on D2L and make sure you monitor your grades. Don't get blindsided by your grades. They're always there. I will have all of your work graded in a timely manner. I strive for about 48 hours. I don't promise 48 hours, but I strive for it <coughs> um, or less. So if, uh, you know, if you're watching your grades, you will, you will have a good idea of where you're at at all times. And that's what I expect you to do. Plagiarism is a cardinal subject. Uh, failing to understand what is and is not fair use intentionally or not can cost a creative company or individual millions of dollars. This is why LCC's goal is to correct plagiarism and unfair use early on. Um, this is a simplified spectrum of fair use. Always okay is drawing or shooting your own imagery, utilizing material in the public domain, utilizing royalty-free material that you paid for. Never okay is taking someone else's image or um, work. Web page is a bad example, but image or any kind of work and turn that in as is with your name on it. That's never okay. Um, the gray area is... Um, a weird kind of area. This is um, something just kind of food for thought, but parody, um, using public domain textures, um, more on the okay side of the spectrum. Repurposing, retooling, resampling existing copyrighted material is right in the middle. 
Um, it depends just on how it's handled. I always use the example of Girl Talk. If you look up Girl Talk, it's a pretty fun musical act. Um, all made with copyrighted samples. Um, publishing the photograph with identifiable faces or including copyrighted artwork in a photograph is more on the not okay side of things. The purpose of this class, however, is to learn how to create your own Im imagery, your own original imagery. Scavenging is um, not forbidden, not illegal, but it is lame. So if you're going to be using sources like public domain royalty free, you um, have to really make it your own by altering it or repurposing it in some way. When in doubt, draw or shoot it yourself. Thank you and have a fun semester.